everybody uh, welcome to the new page it's a journey and it will be a journey hopefully with everybody involved a journey of change i'll call it or a journey of acceptance um just to introduce myself i'm lorraine um i live in oxford i have two children on the autism and adhd spectrum um one of them's 13 just 13 of those lovely teenage years um, and then one of them's five, she'll be six in July. Um, my passion stems from, a, uh, I guess, a, a period of growth where I've really began to understand autism and ADHD. Um, so much so that as my 13 year old has grown, I've literally seen it's like a mirror image of my childhood and my, um, I don't want to use the word struggles, but the difficulties in life, the socialising, the, you know, what should I wear? How should I do my hair and all that jazz acceptance uh, um and education academics i mean the list goes on yeah so two and a half years ago will be nearly three years this year actually i looked at my daughter and thought oh my lord that is me um took myself off to get a referral i did a you know the pre-assessment which flagged up quite highly um and it's only then really that i began to identify who i actually am and and how my brain works and which has really helped me and supported me especially with things like mental health and um just body image and things like that I'm, you know I've, I've never i'm so confident of who i am at the moment and on a journey of self self-discovery it sounds so cheesy but it's so true um yeah so that is me in a nutshell i'm married to my lovely husband john dukes who has been like the stable and foundation i call it uh, who's enabled me to kind of really push for things like this and help me understand myself as well and pick me back up when I fall to the floor because uh, I do a lot I push myself out I burn out as well, you yeah, know that's a few episodes away but yeah um and he, he he deals with lots of spontaneous ideas that I may say one day and start the next um yeah that's another episode as well but no, really joyful life. I, I live a very privileged and very uh, lovely life. Um, worked hard for it, worked very hard. Um, I am a nursery manager, just need to finish my teaching side of things. Um, I teach, I just need that last little smidge of a qualification to do that. Um, but yeah, come and join us, come and join the journey. Neuro Diuniverse. So you've got neurodiverse, obviously is the word of many um, conditions and that that come under that umbrella. Again, I'll go into that, but not right now. Um, apologies, I do waffle on, I do go from one extreme to the other and I do jump topics, part of my ADHD. So yeah, that's what I was going into actually. I have ADHD and only noticing my child uh, through that mirror image that I was like, ah, that's me. Um, but what, what a joy it's been to really kind of, you know, give myself that label and actually understand myself. I can't honestly I can't tell you the change I, I think other people will see it around me my confidence it's the confidence in who I am as well I am who I am I can't change that I can only adapt my strengths and my weaknesses um are me and I, I you know I, I'm always reflective I'm always pushing forward um I can't physically change who I am and how my brain works I can support it though so you know supporting strategies are a big thing I think, but that's not supporting it for society or for the world out there, supporting it so that I am the best version of myself that I can be and for myself and my family to benefit. Not, you know, I'm not changing. Um, but my character brings so much joy, I hope, anyway, to so many people's lives because I'm a complete loon bean. Uh, but yeah, really random introduction, totally gone off topic, totally spiralled 15 different things now. But no, please join the journey, join us. Uh, lots of things are going to be happening. I'm going to be doing a podcast. Um, I'm going to be interviewing uh, children, you know, who who have got a diagnosis under the neurodiverse umbrella, um, and, and getting it straight from their from their head and how how they see society and how how they cope and what things they would like to see change and how you know hopefully in time we can all work towards that. Um, we're in a bit of a funny situation at the moment where you're kind of fi fighting lots of stigma and lots of assumptions and it's tough you know i've got to change we've got to try and change this and I, i'm saying i but i want it to be we i want us all to try and change it because without you know i am just one person but no 
if you think that this is a journey for you and your family and you'd like to get involved please follow the page um i'm going to be setting up you know tiktok accounts facebook accounts i'm doing podcasts i'm doing recordings i hope to be doing some events locally in oxford um where you know you'll be invited to join um and getting involved in some local businesses too there's lots of local businesses i want to shout out that are not really known um you know for the work the hard work that they do so i'm going to be working but there's so much i can go on about now i'm really rambling on but please join share shout about us Mwah. love you